Welcome, friends. Um, so, I am a huge CG apologist. Like, Capital Games uh, has done a lot with this game that I've absolutely loved. They've done some really good stuff. It's taken them a while to do some of the great stuff that they've done. But overall, I feel like most of the changes they've made over the last couple of years have been net positive. But... <sighs> This has got to stop. <laughs> this whole lack of quality assurance is driving me crazy. Like, just the last year of quality assurance has been atrocious. Not even last year, like last six months. Uh, you know, Leviathan dropped, and Leviathan was absolutely garbage. Underperformed under seven star, which it still does to a certain degree. Um, but regardless... <clears throat> it just was completely like no one was blown away by the Leviathan when it came out. It was basically a garbage fleet, honestly. <laughs> uh, and they they did go and fix that. And like I appreciate that they're going and fixing these things, but like it's like they don't test their game right before. Uh, there was a joke going around that Arnold is the quality assurance team that they send it out and then see if Arnold has anything to say. And it's starting to feel more and more like that way because like. This, this last week of just the Lightspeed bundles, like, they've, okay, okay, you drop these Lightspeed bundles that are supposed to be, ev so everyone can purchase them for themselves as well as gifting, if that was your original intention, then why did you patch away the way that we were getting around it to be able to actually get them? And so that sounds like you're trying to make it just so it's gifting. Well, the problem is you drop a gifting and it's so broken that it can't be used. So we can't even rely on people to do that. Uh, and so no matter what, this was a huge flop because either side, they, they basically made it all for gifting. And if that was their one thing, then sure. Uh, and so they patched out the other thing. And so I figured they'd leave it at that and then just fix patching. But no, then they added in the light speed bundles again for everyone else. And now they're being like, oh yeah, light speed bundles for everyone. This is our original intention. And then not even this works. And so it's, I don't know, it's, it's painful to see. Um, we had an update, you know, a couple months ago where they were like, hey, we're having this interaction and we're going to try and fix it. And then they fix it. And all of a sudden, like, all kinds of matches are ending in infinite loops. And it's like they like they fix a problem and then they don't test the overall game. And I'm like, dude, you guys make, you know, five to seven million dollars a month. Like, you guys are, holy crap, that's loud. Um, you guys are making tons and tons of money. Like, come on, at least get a couple quality assurance testers. I know the last time that I saw beta testers, they blew the whistle on you guys, but get some beta testers in there again. Uh, and you 100% deserved to have the whistle blown on you because you were suggesting that Datacrons would have to be, they would be not permanent and that you would use relic materials to unlock them and upgrade them. So you deserve to have the whistle blown on that because that would have screwed over everyone's account and you would have never gotten any interaction with the Datacrons. Um, even now, no, none of us really like Datacrons that much. Like, they're nice, but I'd rather play the game without them. <clears throat> um, but overall, just like it just seems like the quality assurance hasn't been there for the last year. Uh, I don't know if there's been a new team. I feel like all the, you know the people that I've seen in the last year have been the same people we've seen for the last while. But <sighs> CG needs to step up and start fixing some of this stuff. Like not paying attention to the idea that C3PO will be used every time in the raid. Like, and so like right now, Boss Nass doesn't have anything like that off the top of our heads. But that's because he doesn't have his team. I'm sure that once his team comes out, there's going to have to be a series of patches as soon as we get one more Gungan. So, like, it's just, yeah. Uh, like, this whole drop it now so we can make money and then we realize it doesn't work and so we didn't get as much money as we wanted, so we'll fix it and then come back around. Like, you can see why Bo-Katan... Bo-Katan had the lowest adoption rate of any character, period. Uh, and you can see why, because, like, we've had such an awful year of quality assurance that when Bo-Katan came out, like, no one was, like, sitting there being like, oh, yeah, let's get her. I'm going to spend money on these characters that are not free-to-play farmable 
Because, like, typically you'll, you know, spend a little bit of money and then you'll farm the last little bit of shards you need before an event. But they dropped the event before, you know, any of these characters were free-to-play farm roll. And then they were like, oh, yeah, no, everyone's going to spend for this. And it's like, no, because you haven't been testing your stuff. Everyone spent for the Leviathan, and the Leviathan had a painful, painful release. Like, it was just not great. <clears throat> so, I don't know. Quality assurance just needs to happen. Like, I love this game, and I want to keep it going. And it's painful to me not because I want, uh, you know, like, it's not that I want to bash on CG. I want CG to succeed because I do enjoy playing this game. And they're just, you know, I, I'm losing out on friends that are playing this game, and it drives me crazy. I I would love to see everyone get light speed bundles because that's just makes everyone more competitive. It makes everyone be able to catch up to a certain degree. And the more people that we have in the upper echelon, because like you start to hit the higher levels of the game, especially when you're in like the top, you know, uh, top Kyber one kind of area, you're going to see like the same, you know, 50 to a hundred people that you fight like every couple of weeks. <laughs> so like it's, uh, to get more people in there, I think is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, you know, see how other people mod characters and just, you know, have some more fun with people that you've never played with before. And I love that idea. It's just the execution has been awful. Like, I don't know the amount of glitches that have happened. I love the vertical store. I love the vertical store. But, like, bro, <laughs> I love the raid rewards, but, like, why'd you make, make Relic 8 impossible to get for people for a while? Like, there there's so many changes that you guys do, and you don't think about the ramifications, and it's, it's sad. Like, uh, it's February. We're almost into March. You have nine months. Eh, ten. You have 10 months to make this the most absolutely banger year of Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Change some stuff, get a quality assurance team, and this could be the most banger year. You have Gungans coming out, your, your overall way of doing the game, the raid rewards, uh, the double drops on gear, the double drops on shards... Um, the way you're doing marquee characters this year, like all of these things are some of the most free to play friendly and not just free to play friendly, but even like whale and dolphin friendly things I've ever seen. They are, they have made the game to a point where I would take this game over any other hero collector because I can feel like I don't have to spend money. People have talked about how light speed bundles broke free to play players, but it really didn't because of the way that grand arena works. It's really not going to affect much. Um, because you'll still be, you know, where you're supposed to be, and those people that get light speed bundles will shoot up. And so it's not going to affect that. Uh, and free to play players with the raid changes have so much that they can do to get gear 12 to gear 13. Uh, even before they hit level 85, they can start prepping for it. I'm doing it on my free to play account. So, like, they've done so much, so much. And so, if they can just get this under control, get this figured out and be able to start releasing things in a manner that's not just absolutely, you know, every time people, they, they release something, people are just upset. I'd love that. And I get it, you know, anything online. Obviously, I have a YouTube channel. Like, you post anything online, you're going to get hate. You're going to go get criticism. It just happens because that's how people are when they're behind a screen. Uh, but, like limit that criticism because like even the people that love your game are criticizing the things that you guys are doing right now because like we we really want this game to succeed and we're like why no please do something good we want to see something good like uh it, it hurts us because we want this to be a thing um so yeah i don't know i just wanted to talk a bit about this it's something that i think could be changed fairly easily with some beta testers um if you don't want to do like i mean if you're doing beta testers it doesn't even really cost you money it just you just give it out to some people that are playing already and they'll find the problems for you so i don't know it's just something to think about i i this game is in such a good place 
but we have just so many little problems every time there's a new release or a patch that comes out. I just want this game to be as amazing as it can be and to last as long as it can be. Anyways, if you guys like this kind of video, and I'm just kind of moaning, complaining a bit, please subscribe. Uh, I post a lot of guides. I post a lot of that kind of things. Uh, yeah. Uh, also, we're, we have a... It's over there, but we have a tip jar. A tip jar jar, if you will. For getting a Relic 9 jar jar, as our viewers have discussed that they would like to see. Uh, if we can hit that, then we can uh, be able to get him. I'm working towards him right now. I should have a six-star boss Nass by the end of the event, uh, and we'll go from there. But if, if I don't see progress with this, I'm not going to be able to do much. I am a poor college student. Uh, I am going to be, you know, spending as much money as I can afford. Uh, so I appreciate the help that you guys can see. It'll be my first Relic Knight on my account. So we'd have a Relic Knight Jar Jar as our first Relic Knight character. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.